Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, beauty, skincare, and fun. Today we're going to be talking about the newest makeup releases and I will give my unfiltered and unasked for opinions on these releases. If you're interested in this type of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel down below. Without any further ado, let's go. So I have my iPad ready and we will hop right in. The first new release is somewhat new. New is kind of a loose term. It's an addition to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy, 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 Juicy uh, lip <coughs> tint things. These are their new lip vinyls. Um, so it comes in three different finishes and it claims that it's going to be the glossiest shiniest juiciest formula that drenches lips in a slick wet look finish soft blurring effect minimizes the look of lip lines comfy to wear it also says that it's going to have a mirror shine balm gloss and color all in one leaves your lips juicy in three finishes which come in sheer shimmery and full coverage these are going to retail for 26 dollars each so i am like somewhat interested in the shimmery version i like a shimmery lip um that being said i don't like a metallic lip and i saw i think it was leah janae maybe that was talking about their latest one i think they came out with like their sh like the shimmer specific formula and it looked more metallic on her and that was her gripe as well is that it looked metallic and i just for me it does not look good it does not look good um I am 34 and I grew up in the early 2000s. I was like a tween girl. So I just, it brings me back to that. And we went so hard with the metallic everything and it was just not a look, not a vibe. Um, and I, so I think that, that kind of lingers in my head. And I feel like if we give this a couple of months, um, NYX will probably dupe this. ELF will most definitely dupe this. So for $26, I don't think I'm going to grab any right now. I also have plenty of like shimmery lip products. So for me, this is just like not a must have. New from Kylie Jenner. Um, she is releasing a fragrance. It looks like it's going to be available March 7th. We don't really have too much other than this weird like design photo of the bottle. Um, Mm -hmm. I will probably not be grabbing this. Um, probably not. I mean, I guess it's going to depend on like the price point and stuff and like what the notes are. But the reality is, is like I have quite a few perfumes. I've talked about this in these videos before. I have quite a few perfumes right now in terms of like the little bottles that I need to work through before I jump into purchasing full sized. Um, and supporting billionaires just isn't super on my, um, to-do list especially like <laughs> the Jenner and Kardashian family it's just not the most on my to-do list um so this is going to be a pass this one is not a new makeup release however the Sephora savings event for springtime has been announced and it looks like it's going to be happening from April 5th through the 15th um I feel like and maybe I'm mistaken actually but I feel like in the past they've been longer than 10 days maybe not but anyway so that is coming right up. Um, so we have about a little more than a month uh, before that happens. So I'll be creating some content around like what I want to grab, what I would recommend, um, like products I've actually used versus um, products that I want. So stay tuned for that, but just want to throw that out there. Valentino Beauty has, or will be releasing rather, a cushion foundation. It says that is their go-to cushion green stravaganza. Okay. Um, let's see. A compact cushion foundation with creamy formula for medium to buildable coverage and lightweight skin feel, breathable texture, and 24 hour wear for a radiant matte finish and instantly perfected complexion. Hmm. Coming soon on their website, 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 and retailers. So I like the idea of like a medium coverage. Um, cushion foundation. I love the packaging. Like this color is just so pretty to me. Um, I don't know, honestly, and you'll have to let me know down below. Maybe I don't think Valentino has a cushion foundation. I think this is their first one. Um, 
we went through a phase in the 2010s where cushion foundations were like a hot button issue um, and I had a couple that I really did enjoy. My gripe with them is that the amount of product that actually comes in the containers is not always, it's actually very rarely substantial. Um, so that's not perhaps ideal. I like the idea um, of also like the radiant matte. I'm like, what does that kind of mean? But I like the, that the word matte is in there. And I also like that it has 24 hour wear. I work in healthcare. And so something that's going to last me the entire day is going to be a necessity. Um, so I could be convinced it's going to be expensive, of course, because it's Valentino, but I could be convinced if it comes to Sephora. We have some new releases from Polite Society. So these are their Polite Pops, which are an innovative powder in a stick formula. So these are going to retail for $28. They are a powder blush stick, blurring soft matte formula that combines the effortless rich color and blendability of a cream with the look and feel of a powder. That is actually very interesting. And then they also have their Polite Pout, which is going to be a glossy balm. These are going to retail for $21. And there are, let's see here, five different scents. Um, I'm going to be honest, the lip balms, I, I've said this in other videos um, where I talk about new makeup. I have plenty of lip balms, um, enough to moisturize the lips of a Continental Army. Um, so that's really not on my to buy list. I am pretty interested in these powder and a stick um, little whatever they are, the polite pops, I guess. Um, I'm a little, so blurring soft matte formula. So soft matte is usually not terrible. I really like a shimmery blush um, for context here. So matte is not always necessarily my most favorite um, in terms of finishes for blush. That being said though, on, and I'm, I think it's probably just the campaign, but on that model, it does look really pretty, like that like corally orange shade, like it, at the way the light's hitting it, it looks really pretty. Um, and $28, $28 seems steep, not necessarily because, not necessarily because it's a, like a higher end blush, I understand that, but like look how teensy they are. They're like little muffins and they're $28. Seems a bit expensive, but I could be convinced. Um, I'm pretty sure Polite Society is sold at Ulta, so it's pretty accessible. Um, and it looks like they have some shades that also I would be interested in. Of course, there's like that like bright <laughs> baby pink that has that blue undertone that's just like my super favorite. Um, it looks like they also, I really like that coral that the again that the model is wearing and the red. So this definitely could be a grab for me. Tom Ford has released or sneak peeked rather not released. They've sneak peeked their summer collection, which, um, you know, good, good because it's February. So whatever. Um, it's their Sole summer collection. Let's just see here. It includes an eye quad eyeshadow in Emerald Dusk. We'll come back to that. A Sole spark color changing lip oil, a golden highlighter, ultra shine lip colors coming soon. No prices listed. A couple things. Um, so I, I understand, I do understand that Tom Ford is a high-end brand and so their prices are going to be astronomical and Tom Ford makes one of my favorite foundations which is being like, I think it's being reformulated or maybe it's being repackaged. Regardless, you can't find it anywhere which is just, love that for me. Um, but beyond that, so now that we have all of the positives and we have established that I do enjoy Tom Ford as a brand, First of all, that highlighter, I feel, I feel like he releases, or his makeup brand, releases a new highlighter for every season, and it always looks strikingly similar, if not nearly the same as the one that he released the season prior. So I'm not saying, <laughs> so, and I don't have a Tom Ford highlighter, so I can't speak to the formula, certainly, but um, the color, it like, I just feel like I, we've seen this and we have seen this not not once not twice but like 15 times um I just kind of wish they would he would like step out of the box a bit um other than changing the packaging to white and gold um not the not the vibe and then we go down to the quad which for a reference Tom Ford quads are like $90 $90 which it's not, it couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. And if it's you, that's absolutely okay. However, 
for me, this color story, it looks like it's for shimmers. So I'm like, what is the story? What is the story? What is the story? Um, <laughs> I don't, th the top two shades, in my opinion, are too similar. And especially if they're both shimmers or like a, like that satin formula, that's not typically my favorite. Um, they're too similar in color, especially if they're the same finish. Um, I do like the emerald, clearly I like green. Um, so that's, that's cute. However, I think that he must have picked up a lot of audacity at the audacity sale where audacity was on sale for 99 cents by calling it the emerald dusk palette because there's one emerald shade two light pinks and a mid-toned burgundy i just i um it's not for me it's not for me and i think too beyond that beyond that I am not somebody that typically likes a quad. I do have a couple of them and I do use them because they're easy to keep in my to-go makeup bag. Um, that being said, they're not my go-to because I like color and I like to do more colorful looks. I like to, <laughs> I'd like to have an array of shadows to dip into when I'm doing my makeup. So I understand that this is not made for me and that there's probably people out there that are going to absolutely go bananas for this. For me and the way that I like to do my makeup, this is just absolutely not for me. The um, lip balm is also, or lip oil, excuse me, is also not for me. Um, and I do, I have one of Tom Ford's lipstick formulas and I think it's obviously, it's a very nice formula. However, these colors um, are not what I'm looking for, especially for summer. They're just not what I'm looking for. So across the board, it's a pass. Across the board, it's a pass. The next launch is, I don't think actually meant for me. Um, and by that, I mean my skin tone. But I thought it was interesting. So this is new from Jurgens. This is their Melanin Glow for the face. Um, it is a moisturizing glow enhancer, and this is going to retail for $10.99. Uh, formulated for all hues of melanated skin. So yeah, exactly. It's not um, like meant for me to help wait, help highlight focal points of the face. Also contains coconut water and hyaluronic acid. It launched $2.25 at Target. Um, so $10.99 I think is actually a pretty good price point for something like this and you get two fluid ounces which is quite a bit. Um, again this is it's seemingly sounding strikingly like it's not meant for my skin tone which is totally fine but I did think it was kind of cool um, that they came out with this. I don't know if they have this formula already um, like in other shades but this one was specifically for melanated skin so I thought it was kind of cool. Beauty Bay released a new eyeshadow palette. This is their Smoky eyeshadow palette. Um, so they're, <laughs> uh, I don't understand, but whatever. So there's three sizes. There's a nine pan, a 16 pan, and a 42, 42 pan. This is launching 226. So by the time this video goes live, it'll already be released. So first of all, I don't know who in their right mind needs 42 shades of gray. What? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I do see like that. I clearly see that there's some like navies in there. There are some browns in there, but the vast majority of those shades are white, gray, and black and taupe. No. Um, and then the nine pan in terms of like usability, I feel like it, in these promo pictures anyway, for me, it doesn't look like the most comprehensive nine shades that they could have chosen out of the 42 that they created for this collection. Um, so I think the 16 pan in terms of like what I would use would be the most likely option. Um, it doesn't say what the price point is. That being said, Beauty Bay tends to have pretty reasonable pricing. I don't know what is going on with brands, like why they're all doing this 50 shades of gray color story. I'm interested in the Natasha Denona one, but I just don't know, like realistically, how often am I wearing a super smoky eye? Not the most often. So for me, this is a pretty easy pass. I just, I want to know what's going on. 
I want to know what's going like why all of a sudden are so many brands coming out with 50 shades of gray eyeshadow palettes I mean like so do you guys remember when Jeffree Star Cosmetics came out with the cremated palette the timing was like oh my god um it was in 2020 and everything was going to hell in a handbasket and he came up with a cremated palette, which I had at one point. Um, I have since gotten rid of it. And I don't own or buy anything, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. However, beyond the fact that it was called cremated in the middle of a global pandemic, um, which the timing was just not great. I, you know, whatever. I'm not saying he did that intentionally. What I am saying, though, is that that palette got roasted because it was 50 shades of gray and now here we are four years later and everybody and their sister is coming out with 50 shades of gray and I mean at the time I, I did buy it and I used it a couple times the formulas were fine whatever but for me it was a huge palette with so many different shades of gray um and just I never used it so this is an absolute no NYX has some new bronzers, and it took me a second to realize that these were bronzers. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, these are their buttermilk bronzers. So they are $10 each, and there are eight shades. Um, it says that it melts into the skin, delivering a buttered up bronzed finish and silky smooth skin. Soft glow shades infused with mango butter, shea butter, and almond butter. So as I mentioned, it took me a minute to realize that these are bronzers because I don't know like if it's just these promo pictures or like what is going on here but they all look like they're blushes I don't know and I mean I I'm not opposed to trying them certainly I'm actually a little intrigued if for no other reason than these promo photos they literally look like blush I I don't know what is going on I just my thing is I have a cooler undertone so honestly it could work very well I don't know that I have Oh, any bronzers actually with more pink <laughs> undertones or like mauve undertones which is what this is giving that if we only have cool undertones I, I don't know it's an interesting launch I just don't know if it's for me new from deck of scarlet we have two new eyeshadow palettes so they have their maximalist eyeshadow palette which is going to retail for $42 and then their solar aura eyeshadow palette which is also going to retail for $42 um so the maximalist one is going to be the one that has the jewel tones so the purple the green the blue um with a couple of neutrals it looks like i can't really tell in this picture but uh, like on the left hand side um it looks like there's two pans that are a little bit bigger than the rest um and i can't tell it doesn't look like they're going to be like a cream shadow i think it's just more so for maybe transition shades that the average bear might use more than um, some of the other building colors i've never tried anything from deck of scarlet i've heard some good things from some of the people that i follow online um that being said though neither of these color stories are calling to me as colors that i absolutely need to get into my collection right now so for me this is a pass Last but certainly not least, we have a new drop from Hard Candy. Um, so this is their <laughs> collaboration with Girl Scouts. This is a limited edition collection available at Walmart and hardcandy.com. Um, they have a whole plethora of things. So they have cookie, cookie scented eyeshadow palette um, in three different color stories. Those are gonna retail for $10 each. There is a sweet treat lip repair oil for $8 a cookie glaze lip marker for seven dollars each in three different shades um cookie icing face highlighter two different shades for eight dollars each a cookie batter indulgent volumizing mascara for seven dollars refreshment canvas primer for 9.98 why are all the others whole numbers and this one is 9.98 who knows um, a handshake press on nail for eight dollars handshake nail stickers for seven get ready plush headband there's two different ones um, those are going to retail for ten dollars and then be bold do more puffs for seven dollars um hmm. so it's very cute it's very very cute i was a girl scout for many many years um and I loved it. I loved it. My childhood friends and I were all in it together. My childhood best friend's mom ran, was our troop leader. We went on these adventures. We sold cookies. It was so fun. And so Girl Scouts of America hold like a very special place in my heart. I don't know that I need the makeup for it. Like, I don't know. 
I don't think this is meant for my age group is where I'm going with this like it's a very cute I love like the nostalgia of the Girl Scouts for me I just don't think realistically that any of these products are for my age group because I am probably not gonna wear <laughs> I'm probably not gonna wear a cookie headband um the powder puffs are very cute and the um oh my gosh what did they call them like the lip pens oh lip markers they look like they come in some really cute shades the eyeshadow palettes hard candy has some like really good formulas they're just not color stories necessarily that I am like chomping at the bit for um I also am not somebody that necessarily loves limited edition collections like this I do think it's super cute I think that if you even if you are my age and you're like I love this that I love that for you um so I'm not I do not mean to be like shaming um when I say that this is not necessarily meant for my age group I just don't think for me <laughs> this is going to be a must-have that being said I could like saunter into Walmart and see it and be like oh you know what I want a piece um but am I gonna like hunt it down no that is all of the new makeup releases this week. It was a pretty dry week. Like, I don't know that there's anything on here that I am super excited about. Maybe that Valentino cushion, and super excited, it's very loose. Um, I am not super excited about it. I could be convinced about a couple things. I could be convinced about that Valentino um, cushion foundation. I could be convinced about the Polite Society blush sticks, but kind of a dry week. I feel like we did have a super busy week last week though, so I'm not super surprised. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking about these new makeup releases. Please let me know down below so we can have a little banter back and forth about our thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!